back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. So it's currently Sunday morning. It's like after 10 now, 9:54. Um, so today I have to go to I have to go to work today. I work the evening shift today. Um, but I wanted to show you guys something. So last night I picked up some stuff when I was going home. Okay, so I picked up this little um. What do you call it? Kitchen mitt, oven mitt. I picked up this black mat for the bathroom. And I specifically got a color black because I'm not prepared to wash this every day. And the most, what I'm really excited for, what I really got and I'm really excited for, guys, is this new duvet. I don't think you guys can see it all that well on camera, the patterns in it. But I freaking love this duvet and I saw it in there for about two weeks now and every time I'm like, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that duvet. I'm gonna get that duvet and I keep forget. I don't really forget. It's just I'm like, ah, I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered to stop there right now. I just want to go straight home. And last night I was like, I'm stopping there because I'm picking up my duvet. I got my duvet. So here it is. But I'm not putting it on my bed just yet because I want to wash it. So I have to bring it to the laundry sometime this week to get it washed um and there are some changes i want to make to my room like i want to i'm thinking about getting a couch just a small little couch and putting it in that corner over there before the door the little space over there i have this box with this huge chunk of metal in it it's a long story I'm trying to find somewhere i can sell it to it's a machine and i'm trying to find somewhere i can sell it to so that i can get back that space so that i can put a nice little small couch over there and we just relax over there when my boyfriend's over so that's that you guys saw like a day in my life at work so that's what i do that's my job that's how i pay my bills that's how i'll be able to afford the small couch or barely afford be barely be able to afford the small couch but um yeah that's pretty much what i do i work in a restaurant i'm a cashier i'm on i'm on every goddamn thing in that place i'm a cleaner i'm i'm everything you guys can tell me in the comments what videos you guys would love to see more of what are the things you guys want me to do i really i'm going to start doing like more outside videos even though it's getting colder i always get my most inspirational ideas when it's cold it's like i'll waste the entire summer doing nothing not being consistent not vlogging and then when it gets cold i'm like i want to be a youtuber the minute it gets cold i did it last year last year summer i didn't vlog nothing i didn't pick up the camera i barely picked up my camera i think i posted one vlog all of sep summer last year and then by the time i think september hit and the temperature started dropping just a little bit like October around that time I'm like I want to be a youtuber and then I did this video and when I did the video I was like oh I definitely want to do YouTube because this is the type of content I want to create and then I went and bought my camera I bought my mics a few months later I bought so many things because I want to be a youtuber and then I was like oh I want to do food YouTube and then I was like, wait, I started doing it. The videos were doing really well. And then I'm like, wait, if I keep this up, I'm going to get fat and I don't want to get fat. So I stopped doing food YouTube. And that was also like in winter. That was like February around those months. I was doing food YouTube. And then I was like, I'm, I'm gonna stop doing this because I'm going to get fat. And then summer comes. No, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do during summer. I'm like, what the heck do I do with this channel? I don't know what to do so by like summer runs off and i'm just like completely I, I don't know what to do i'm trying to figure my way into another niche what do i like to do what do i like to watch and i love to watch girls just being girls just being girly just buying girly things just having a nice very aesthetic space i love seeing women just be women just be feminine and i love calm relaxing videos i don't like I, I, I don't I don't I don't watch videos like that so I wouldn't put out a video like that um yeah I just love watching women be women like be very feminine be into art be into furniture be into decor be into cooking because I love those things and so I decided you know what let's turn this channel into that let's turn the space I live in into that let's turn my life into the life I want it 
it to be instead of waiting like I'm I, in my mind I'm like no my don't do this don't do that just wait until you get a nice apartment with the white walls and the long kitchen aisle just wait just wait don't bake that yet bake that out when you're in your own apartment and you have everything you want in your apartment do that don't try out this aesthetic no try it out when you have your like your nice apartment and it's like that's great and I want to do that but I have to I, I can like you know who's who's to say like I feel genuinely in my soul that those things I'm going to have those things one day but it's like stop living for the future if you get what I'm saying like you have no you have the present you can do it in the present you can bake the cinnamon rolls no you don't have to wait until you have the beautiful aesthetic apartment to bake the cinnamon rolls you can do it no you can you know you can step into your feminine era no in the space that you're in it's not your ideal space but you can be a woman in this space. You can do all the beautiful, girly, aesthetic things you want to do just in a more confined, limited space and it's not going to be as aesthetic as having beautiful white walls and a long kitchen tabletop. But it will be something. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm over here letting Amazon take all my money because I'm ordering some pots and I'm ordering some stuff that I find really cute and I really love. I'm thinking about getting that couch but I'm going to hold out on that because like that space over there is still very much occupied by this thing but that's my advice to you guys to all you creatives out there to all you women who want to live in your best feminine era I would say do it in the space you're in it's okay to dream big it's okay to want more and you should want more you should dream big but remember that you have the know and the future isn't guaranteed to anybody no man no woman can tell what your future is going to be you have the know and make use of the know because you have it no <laughs> so thank you guys for watching that was very cheesy very corny but it's a sight go thank you guys for watching bye bye Never under ya, never ever, forever